Hey everybody, in this video I want to talk about the big blue crane collapse that occurred at Miller Park here in my hometown of Milwaukee, Wisconsin back in the year 1999. Just to show you what this looked like, uh, we had this crane which I think might have been one of if not the largest operating crane in the world at the time. It was lifting up a 450 ton piece of the steel section of the roof and at some point the wind gusts were too strong and eventually the crane toppled over causing a whole lot of damage delaying the project by a year and worst of all killing three people who were suspended on a platform observing the lift. Now when I had woken up this morning if someone had told me that this was staged or planned, I would have said, okay, well, you're going to have to show me some kind of proof or some really good evidence. Well, I decided to take a look at this today, and in my opinion, I think there's plenty of evidence here to say that absolutely this was a staged event. The question is whether or not anyone really died, which is a question I cannot answer. If I were to guess, I would think it is actually a hoax for a couple of reasons. Uh, first of all, the names of the wives, which we'll look at in a little bit towards the end of the video. But also, consider that the wives, you know, the three widows of the men who died made $57 million amongst them. So $19 million apiece. And 19 is a number I've been talking about a lot lately. 19 equals 244 in Jewish gematria, which is the Hebrew value for the word kill. It's also a number connected to time, there being 19 years in the metonic cycle. So if this was really a staged event and, you know, the collapse was on purpose, then the company wouldn't really want to pay $57 million out to three families. It would be a lot cheaper to hoax it. So that's my guess. Now, if anyone died... Again, I apologize, but we don't know. All we know is that something really, really strange is going on in this world. So this was a crane collapse. And crane collapse, of course, has the CC, like the 33, which I commonly say is the primary hoax code. But do keep in mind that 33 is a number of sacrifice. And it's simple to see why. Using the alphabetic order, the language of gematria, which assigns a number to each letter relative to its position in the alphabet. Crucifixion of Jesus Christ equals 303. It also sums to this in the Jewish ordinal cipher, which is Jewish gematria just dropped down to an ordinal base. This cipher being based on the ancient Latin alphabet and is uh, certainly one of the most significant ciphers to this day. Now, when you write out the number 33, it sums to 895 in this cipher. And this happens to be the same as ritual human sacrifice, 895. And think about who was it that betrayed Jesus at age 33 prior to his crucifixion. It was Judas, and his name sums to 895. All of these rituals seem to pertain to the crucifixion of Jesus Christ and reliving it. And let me explain why I think this is the case here. First of all, think of the symbolism. In the crucifixions, Jesus was crucified along two others, and they were all suspended on their respective crosses. And these three men who died in the crane collapse are said to have been suspended or killed when they were standing on a suspended platform where they were observing the lift from, right? And if you add their ages up, they were 39, 40, and 52 years old. And 39 plus 40 plus 52 equals 131. Well, 131 is the gematria of crucifixion using the alphabetic order. The crane that collapsed, killing these men, was named Big Blue. And another significant form of gematria is the reverse alphabetic order. You simply turn the alphabet backwards and number them Z as 1, Y as 2, all the way through A as 26. 
Now, in the Bible, it's said that the crucifixion began and then a total solar eclipse started afterwards. So these events are always synced up with one another. You know, these types of rituals along with actual real-life total solar eclipses. Well, in the year 1999, the same year that Big Blue collapsed, there was this total solar eclipse. And this was a very significant one because it cut through Europe and actually went through England a little bit too. And this is very uncommon. This, this only happens once every 50 to 100 years or so. Measuring from the date of that collapse to the date of the significant European eclipse was a span of exactly 29 days. In Gematria, the word collapse equals 29 using the reduction method. Solar eclipse equals 29 in the Hebrew reduction method. And think about how collapse kind of sounds a lot like eclipse, right? A lot of the same letters. In Jewish Gematria, Christ equals 290, a number which reflects 29 as in numerology, the zeros are ignored. And most significantly, eclipse sacrifice sums to 290 in the reverse order. Also want to point out the time at which this occurred. It says it was 1712, which is 512 in the afternoon. Well, at 1712, that's currently the 1033rd minute of the day. And the word collapse sums to 133 using the reverse alphabetic order. So a significant eclipse, and from the date of this collapse to the date of the eclipse is 29 days, if you include the end dates. And in the Hebrew language, solar eclipse equals 29. This translates into English gematria as well, where Christ equals 290 using the Jewish cipher. What I don't even have listed here is the synagogue of Satan from the book of Revelation in the Bible. This sums to 290. But perhaps most significantly is that eclipse sacrifice sums to 290 using the alphabetic order. The word Masonic sums to 29 in reduction, and we'll talk about how that ties in pretty soon. Now in English extended, Eclipse Sacrifice has this value of 448. And this happens to be the same as Crane Collapse. Crane Collapse, also summing to 448 in the same method. And as far as this being related to the Eclipse, one of the workers who died happened to be named Jerome Starr. And it's our star, the sun, that's covered during an eclipse that in essence, in symbolism, is sacrifice. And eclipse sacrifice equals 142 alphabetic order, the same as that man's name, Jerome Starr, 142. Notice, too, that the name Jerome sums to 33 reverse reduction. Using the S exception, the sun equals 33. This being the method where S is worth 10, because 19 is only reduced once, 1 plus 9. Now, when you take all three of these men's names, Jeffrey Wisher, William DeGrave, and Jerome Starr, these are the three who were killed in the crane collapse, you get this 443 English ordinal. This is the gematria of the sun in Jewish gematria. Also, using that, that S exception that we just looked at, their names are summed to 218. And in the Hebrew language, moon equals 218. So does the word death in the English extended method. So what are the odds of this? Just in the very basic gematria, you have the, the value of the sun, you have moon in Hebrew. In the reverse order, we get 610. In Jewish gematria, crucifix equals 610. The number 200 is significant. I'll leave a link on my blog post to talk about this. But also one of the men's names, Jeffrey Wisher, his name sums to 218 also in the reverse order. 
So we saw this 448 in the eclipse sacrifice in the value of crane collapse. Well, this gives us a pretty good hint as far as who was staging this. You know, the word devil sums to 448. It's the ancient accepted Scottish rite of Freemasonry that sums to 448 in the alphabetic order. This is what's responsible for planning, staging, crafting these eclipses. You know, Freemasons consider themselves to be master builders. And this was one of the largest building projects in the history of the state of Wisconsin. The word Masonic, you know, we saw the 229 value earlier. Uh, we looked at the, well, we didn't look at the 223, but this is the Jewish gematria of the moon when, you, when it's referred to the particular one that's orbiting the earth. Anyways, in the reverse order, Masonic sums to 115. And this is a number that the word killing has double gematria of, both in the Jewish and the reverse ordinal methods. The park at which this occurred, Miller Park, sums to 115 in the alphabetic order. So who would stage this type of eclipse sacrifice? Well, you'll notice in English extended, the word devil also sums to 448 but it's the ancient accepted Scottish Rite of Freemasonry, which sums to 448 using the alphabetic order that's really behind all this. And just think about it, Freemasons consider themselves to be master builders. This is one of the largest building projects to ever occur in the state of Wisconsin. Now the word Masonic, we saw the relevance of the 29 earlier. This also sums to 74, and 115. The word killing also sums to 74, but it has double gematria in both Jewish and the reverse order, different methods, but the same results, 115. So the big blue crane collapse, as it's titled here on the Wikipedia article, this sums to 115 in the reverse reduction method. Miller Park, using the alphabetic order, sums to 115. That's where the big blue crane collapse occurred. Also notice Miller Park has a value of 155 reverse. The word killing equals 155 in extended. Now the date of, of this collapse, this was July 14th, 1999. This was on the date that left 170 days on the calendar. And in the reverse order, the word sacrifice equals 170. And to double up on that, the word moon equals 170 in Jewish gematria. Of course, it's the moon covering the sun doing the sacrifice during an eclipse symbolically. Um, but what I find to be actually even more interesting is the gematria of Miller Park crane collapse. So using the alphabetic order, this sums to 239. 239 is the 52nd prime number. Now, Freemasonry is rooted in the Kabbalah. Kabbalah sums to 52. The word death also has... Uh, double gematria of 52 in various methods. And when we talk about 52, Miller Park in the reduction method, summing to 52, the same as crane collapse. So a crane collapse at Miller Park. And when Miller Park was uh, first constructed, groundbreaking occurred on the date November 9th. You know, you got an 11-9 there, right? And you may know by now, November 9th, in Gematria equals 1109, just like how it's written on the calendar. Well, November 9th is the date that leaves 52 days in the year. Now, because this was a leap year, the date of this groundbreaking left uh, was the 314th day of the year. 
Now, 314, these are the first three digits of pi. And the smallest equation you can use to get those first three digits is 22 divided by 7, which sums to 314. And this 227 seems to come into play here. The re in the reverse alphabetic order, crane collapse equals 227. And think about this crane, you know, big blue. Uh, the color of the crane was in the name of it. The word blue in Jewish gematria sums to 227. This also being another value found in the gematria of ancient accepted Scottish Rite of Freemasonry, 227. And as far as this all being related to the eclipse and eclipse sacrifice, you know, in Hebrew, total eclipse sums to 227. So does United States of America in ordinal in that language. Now, in regards to this being a Masonic event, you know, something popped out at me about the statue that they built for these three workers. You know, in the, when I was doing uh, my video on Trayvon Martin this weekend, I noticed that in the photo that they released of his death, that his legs were crossed. And I know that this is something that's used symbolically in masonry. So before I looked at the statue, I thought, I wonder if one of the men have their legs crossed. And sure enough, look at this guy on the left. You see his right leg is kind of awkwardly behind his left like that. You know, what's that about? And what I also find more interesting about this is the gematria of the name of the statue. So they went ahead and called this teamwork. Oops. And teamwork, using the prime number cipher, you know, prime number relationships very significant as I've been showing. Using the prime number cipher, which is just based on the alphabetic order using associated prime numbers, teamwork sums to 347. And in Hebrew gematria, the word for sacrifice sums to 347. And the company that's, that was responsible for this collapse and that had to end up paying out all this money to the families, they ended up getting fined over a million dollars, Mitsubishi Heavy Industries, and this equals 347. How interesting is that? Teamwork using the reverse reduction method sums to 47. And the 47th prime number is 211. I might as well have just kept this prime number cipher open because killing equals 211 there. But perhaps more significant, ritual human sacrifice sums to 211 using the alphabetic order. And we were talking about this in relation to the crucifix crucifixion. A triple crucifixion, if I can type this, sums to 211 also in the alphabetic order. So, you know, I wonder if that's a coincidence. It's, it's hard to imagine it is. Considering that ritual human sacrifice is coded into the number 33 like we've seen. Finally, in the reduction method, teamwork sums to 34. And the reason this one is pretty interesting is because of its prime number relationship. The 34th prime number is 139. And we've been talking about masonry this whole time. Freemasonry sums to 139. Miller Park crane collapse equals 139 using the redu reverse reduction method. The date that it collapsed was on a date with 139 numerology. 7 plus 14 plus 19 plus 99. And if you measure from the date of groundbreaking back on November 9th, 1996 to the date of the eclipse, you get a little bit over 139 weeks. Also, this date, July 14th, most of the world writes this date 14 slash 7, like 147. Masonic sacrifice equals 147. Freemason, in fact, also 147. And, you know, if you still think that's a coincidence for some reason, 
Well, if you measure from groundbreaking to the date of the collapse, it was exactly 32 months and five days. Scottish Rite of Freemasonry, alphabetic order, 325. Also notice the 2197 in the extended method. This is 13 cubed. One of the men who died, his name was Jeffrey Wisher, and I noticed he had 2197 in his name. <laughs> oh, and, and going back to Jerome Star, Jerome Star 691, just like Masonry, 691. So all these guys with all these ties to Masonry through the numbers, and probably more than just the numbers. And even the company, Mitsubishi Heavy Industries, we saw the 347 earlier, but also 158, just like Freemasonry, 158. In the reduction method, it sums to 58. This crane was named Big Blue, which sums to 58. So I normally say the hoax codes are 13 and 33. Of course, you know, this is just a stamp of Masonic activity as far as I can tell, not necessarily always a hoax. But it's also worth pointing out this collapse occurred on a date with 130 numerology. It happened in the year 99. When you write out 13, it sums to 99. And the section of roof that it was pulling up was 450 tons. Right here, a load of over 450 tons. And in reduction, 13 equals 45. In Satanic Gematria, Big Blue sums to 303. When you write out 33, you get 141. That's the same as Mitsubishi. In the same method, 141. Uh, you also got to appreciate the rest of these numbers. 777, 547, uh, this is a big one. Um, I'll leave this to my blog post if you want to look at all the various uh, matches and the base ciphers between the names of the men who died and Freemasonry. Now before we get to the end of the video, I want to talk about these three wives' names and why this leads me to believe that this is all a big hoax. So if you have seen Jurassic Liars videos, he always talks about the man and the son being the two main hoax codes. You, know, you got the killing of O.J. Simpson and Ronald Goldman. You have George Zimmerman killing Trayvon Martin, whose middle name was Ben, which is Hebrew for son. Well, he also talks about the Ram, and it's not something I've mentioned because, you know, I focus mainly on numbers, but I do think he's definitely onto something with that. And two of these wives' names had the Ram right there. You had the Ramona, R-A-M, and then the Marjorie, M-A-R. And then the last name was Patricia, the third woman. And she's got the CIA in her name. What I want to finish out on is this. Um, you know, you add up the names of these three men, Jeffrey Wisher, William de Grave, and just think about the name Grave, right? and Jerome Starr. In reverse reduction, this sums to 232. And while this is the gematria of Satan in Jewish, it's interesting that this is the value of three crucifixes, 232. Also, 83 reduction, big blue crane collapse, equaling 83. Uh, you may have also noticed three crucifixes equals 903. And how interesting is that? I mean, we already know how significant 93 is in relation to the crucifixion. They say it occurred on the 93rd day of the year between 9 and 3. And then look at this. 1433 English extended. That's the 227th prime number. Uh, so I just learned this now. <laughs> as I'm making this video. And how about that 88? I mean, this really pops. So interesting stuff, Truth Seeker, you know, just, just decoding these things and really paying close attention, you, you, you begin to learn stuff as well. And had I looked at this a couple months ago, I might not have noticed all of these 
synchronicities, but um, it's pretty amazing what's going on. So that'll wrap this video up. Thanks for watching. Appreciate everyone out there who's seeking and speaking truth. Until next time, God bless.